box like this. Okay, okay, guys, okay. Hey guys, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe because I drop content every week. And now, enjoy the video. Hey guys, NDM here, and today in this video, we are going to be reviewing what could quite possibly be the best PvP mod menu since the Dragon OP mod menu. So it is called the Matrix mod menu version 1 and I gotta admit this is one of the best monument menus that I've reviewed and uh, yeah I actually don't know who the developers are though so if you are a developer tell me in the comments below so I can give you credits in the description below as well and uh, yeah let's go straight into it okay guys so let's start off with some features that I do like and the first feature is pretty simple, but I do enjoy it very much. So as you can tell, at the bottom right corner of your screen, the mod menu is there with a pretty cool um, little like icon. So basically, if you long press that, it goes into like stealth mode or whatever, ninja mode, which is completely epic if you have somebody playing on your phone and you don't want them to know you're playing with mods. So um, yeah, then to op open it, you just press right there and it opens it up. And if you exit, it pops back up. So let's go into here more into depth. So another cool uh, feature in this mod menu is if you long press a mod, it will tell you a little description about that mod, about that little hack, whatever. So uh, ma matrix hack automatically aims at the nearest player or mob. So I know what aim aura is now and many of these you could just press and hold on them and it will tell you exactly what they are so I think that's pretty epic but anyways let's go into uh, key bind here so toggle aim aura if we turn that on as you can tell there is a button at the top of your screen this toggles on and off aim aura and I think that's epic for PvP because on dragon OP I constantly have to open and close the mod menu so with this I can easily turn it on and off and I think that's pretty epic for PvP on LBSG which is hopefully a series that might come back I don't know yet so um yeah that's pretty epic to have open it up key bind turn it off easy as that I really like this mod menu as well because it has a bunch of these buttons which I love these buttons very much uh, I think they're just super easy to use and yeah, so keybind, as you can see, toggle, infinite reach, no down glide, those are all things you could toggle. Aim friend manager, I'm not sure what that is. What what does this do? Enables you to add or delete a friend based on your pointed entity. Okay, so that's probably a friend manager that you don't hit. Chat bind. Adds a button that if you tap sends a message to set the matches to set the message type chat bind in the message so as you can tell if you turn on chat bind then you could spam whatever message you want so that's pretty cool and that's basically key bind and yeah so combat this is obviously for PvP and and PvP related things so Amora I already showed you but this time there is no toggle I recommend using the toggle but it's all up to you Strafe Aura automatically spins around and aims at the nearest player or mob. Oh, okay, okay. So let's say you have Aim Aura and Strafe, strafe Aura on at the same time. This allows you to spin around one of your, um, like in a entity or whatever. As you can see, I just constantly spin around it over and over. So that's pretty epic to actually have. And you can just turn it off, easy as that. Combo Aura. aura. Helps you do more combos. I'm not sure what combos are, but that is existing. And if you know what it is, tell me down in the comments below. Infinite reach. Tap a block, then tap it again. Do it fast. So, tap a block. Oh, what was that? That's actually pretty epic. Oh my goodness gracious. So apparently, if you tap the thing, you, t you tap the ground, and you teleport to the nearest entity, I believe. And you can just easily punch and punch and punch. 
So I'm not sure how that works, but it's pretty epic. You can use it on PvP and other such things as that. I'm actually probably going to use that. That's that's pretty cool to have. Ghost Hand, what does this do? It enables you to hit players through blocks. I'm not sure if that works. I never tested that, but I'm sure it does, and that's awesome as well. Movement. Speed, that's obviously makes you like go to LBSG speed so you don't get kicked out. Um, no down glide. It's obviously you won't glide without... May oh, okay. So basically you won't go down and you glide no matter what. Glide. It enables you to glide when falling down. It enables you to jump with multiple times. Even. Okay, so apparently if you keep pressing this button over and over, you just keep flying into the air, which is actually pretty awesome to have. <laughs> Truly sorry about that, guys. Uh, apparently, I just crashed for some reason. Uh, I'm not sure if the, it was the mod or not. But anyways, let's go ahead to player. This right here, dolphin. This is if you have water, and it basically makes you bob up and down like a dolphin, which is the name. Tap teleport. This makes you tap teleport. Pretty obvious, right? So that's pretty self-explanatory. Let's go ahead to back to player. Let's turn that off. Okay, so spammer, bypass spammer, pretty self-explanatory. It's in the name. Derp makes you just go insane, which I don't know why you choose this. Maybe to like troll a friend or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, so twerk makes you crouch and uncrouch extremely quickly. Back face. I'm not sure what this does either. I mean, it makes you go insane, but... Just what's the point? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, anyways, a world is like pretty awesome. So, let's say wall hack. You, you press wall hack, enables you to walk through the walls. So, boom, works perfectly. You don't get hurt, I believe. So, that is pretty epic. Oh, oh okay. So, you do get hurt through like blocks like this. Okay, okay, guys. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. That was just insanely just mean. <laughs> okay, so let's open this up again and let's turn that off. I think that's a good idea. Force destroy this right here. Forcefully destroys a block, other players won't see it. Okay, so basically, I believe if you point. No, wait. Oh, wow. I don't know what that was, but yeah, I mean, that's that. Auto destroy this one's pretty cool. This one destroys blocks you are automatically pointing at. So let's say I use this, as you can see, it destroys the blocks. It's slow, but it does it automatically. So let's just turn that off. So that's good for mining and, and such things. Fast destroy, that's obviously just instant destroying things. And uh, yeah, I think that's the end of this mod menu. But anyways, you guys, that is gonna be the end of this video right here. If you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it if you would slap that like button for me. It greatly just motivates me to create more videos for you guys and it just motivates me and yeah. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for more awesome content in the future. And uh, let me just say again that the, the developer, I'm sorry guys, the developers who created this mod Say it down in the comments below if you're watching this because I will put you guys in my description. If you have a YouTube channel, anything, go straight to the description. And um, yeah, this might be my favorite mod menu. Um, it used to be the Drag OP mod menu, but this one's coming extremely close. It's pretty simple to use. I mean, I think the interface could look a little bit better, but it is still pretty cool. And it has green, which is sort of my color. So I think that's actually epic. And uh, I think that's going to be the end of this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Deuces.